Welcome to Bible Reader Companion. I want to conclude our studies in Hebrews chapters 1 and 2 today. We've been looking at the beginning of this letter that the Hebrew writer wrote to some people who were struggling in their faith, and they were, they were downtrodden and in the verge of giving up. And he now says in chapter 2, beginning in verse 16, we're going to read verses 16 through 18, New King James Version, Hebrews 2, verses 16 through 18. For indeed he does not give aid to angels, but he does give aid to the seed of Abraham. Therefore, in all things, he had to be made like his brethren, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in things pertaining to God, to make propitiation for the sins of the people. For in that he himself has suffered, being tempted, he is able to aid those who are tempted. A number of interesting things here, interesting the distinction he makes between men and angels. But more interesting, and, and the primary point that he makes here, is that he became like us. You know, one of the challenges we have in, in seeking help sometimes is we don't know where we can go to someone who's faced what we face, who understands the struggles that we're going through. And yet what he talks about here is that that's exactly what Jesus did. He came to be the propitiation, the substitute, the replacement for us, to be that sacrifice for us. But in so doing, he didn't just come live a life of luxury, live above the world, and then say, okay, now I'm going to give myself as a sacrifice. No. He went through suffering. He suffered rejection. He lived as a common man. He didn't live as royalty. He lived being rejected many times by his family, by his own people. Uh, by those that he grew up with, by the l religious leaders of his day. And eventually, he suffered. And Jesus was tempted in many ways. We often look at uh, the temptation of Jesus in the desert by the devil and say, that's the temptation of Jesus. I challenge that assertion. Jesus was tempted many times. Jesus was tempted with power. Jesus was tempted when he faced death. Jesus was tempted over and over again throughout his life. And yet... He never succumbed. We'll see that emphasized later in the, in the letter. But what he says is, he says, he himself has suffered being tempted, and therefore he's able to aid those who are tempted. He understands. He's been through this world. He has lived in this world. He's faced the temptations. There's no temptation that he won't understand if we go to God and, and go to Jesus and say, look, we're, we're facing this, we're dealing with this. I, how do I deal with this? How do I overcome? look to his life as an example? Turn to him, pray to him for strength. Recognize that he can provide comfort and solace and support. He came, he suffered, he was tempted for our sake. Will we recognize that? Will we serve him? Will we be faithful to him? That's what this letter is all about, isn't it? Lifting us up to be faithful to Jesus Christ because he is our Savior who suffered and was tempted as we are. Thank you for joining us in our studies of Hebrews chapters 1 and 2 this week, and we hope you'll join us again next week as we continue our studies in Hebrews. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook for more content like this.